Welcome back to my channel guys. So today is a mod day, but not an exterior mod. I am gonna meet up with my mate, uh, Andy Kirby, um, my fellow YouTuber mate. Um, you go and follow him, I'll put his link up here. Uh, Andy Kirby has a uh, similar TT to mine and we've been uh, sort of made friends basically through Instagram and YouTube and uh, we're both now going off to our mate Sol who is at gn.uk I'll put his uh, link up here so Sol does all um, auto electrical work and he's basically done loads of stuff to my car already we've given me uh, speed camera alerts he's updated my uh, sat nav He's uh, given me loads of extras um, in regards to the actual dash itself. But today, woof, there's a big old puddle there. Um, today, absolutely pissing it down, but we're going off to, uh, to where he is near Luton to uh, have quite a interesting upgrade, which I'm sure a lot and of Audi TT Mark III drivers will love to have. It's basically, changing this view here which is the standard TT view into In half a mile, the sports display the view the so there wasn't a fix for this really until just recently and now Andy and I are going off to see Sol he's gonna uh, install this for us and you're gonna come on the way to see how it all works out and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have this standard dash upgraded to the uh, sports dash, which you normally get on the TTS and the TTRS. Um, but it's basically the centre dial, which uh, sort of spits the screen in a slightly different way. Right, so we are here with Gene Gnostics. Just doing a few updates here. I've now got the Audi smartphone selector on the centre dash now. I didn't have that before because mine, if you've got a 2015 uh, Audi TT Mark III, you didn't have the same platform as the ones 2016 upwards. Is that right? Correct. Exactly right. So uh, mine was slightly different. And when my Apple CarPlay was installed, it was done in a, site, a, a kind of around, what do they call it? Workaround. You Workaround, that's the word I'm trying to think of. But now there is um, Apple CarPlay or Apple CarPlay selector now on the center on the options panel, which is what I wanted. Superb. Right, so we're going from the standard display to that's the standard display, and then we go to sports display, center dial. It can be done. You can switch between it. As and when you please. You have to be actually funny enough. You have to be stationary while you do it. Okay. You can't. You can't. You can't do the actual change out. You Will can it do. Grey you, out, you, you, uh, you can do this when you're driving. Yeah. This, this works absolutely whilst you're driving. Yeah. But if you want to go back to the classic layout, which we'll just show you just here, if you click classic, click OK. For example, you're driving right now. Yeah. It would say this is not possible. You have to uh, be stationary, okay. and then it will load the layout, and then you're back to your classic old one, which of course we don't like as much. No. Uh, quite easy to rotate back. Scroll down to layout. Select sport. Click, over, click yes, about five to ten seconds, and all done. You can toggle on the left hand side to see what you want to see, or you can change the view and, and so on to consumption. You can put your map on there, for example, change the view, and you've got the map on the left, the additional sidebar as well. And that can all be done how? Uh, just through the control options, just on your steering wheel. Okay, really the, same as the factory solution. Cool. It goes Kirby in play. <laughs> <laughs> I'd leave it to leave it to him. Leave it to the pros. <laughs> what I'm going to do is let me update your cockpit first. Once I've updated it, and we'll do the rest. Um, it'll be quite a, it'll be quite a big change, we'll see. Nice. Yeah, by the way, your one's fully sports car play and auto as well. Okay. You wouldn't even need to update the cockpit. Uh, Good to see you, Andy. Yeah, nice, yeah, yeah, nice one. Thanks for coming down. Um, you've got links to my pages and stuff. I'll send them. Sure you've got them. Send them. Yeah, I'll, I'll get them. And yeah. Then, Perfect. Yeah, no, thanks. So it can be done. Anyone who's got a 2015 to 20, I, say, I, say, I say 2016 plus. 2016. To be on the safe side, plus. I say 2016 plus uh, Audi TT 
Uh, also compatible on the Audi Q7, Audi A4, and so on. There's a fair few that, that it's uh, supported with. It's quite good. Great stuff. All right. So if anyone wants um, the details for Sol, um, I'm going to put his details in the description. I'll put his uh, Instagram up here, gn.uk. And uh, yeah, anyone who wants uh, their Audi TT, which is a non-TTS or non-TTRS, where they don't have the sports dials, come and see Sol. He's in Luton, and uh, he'll be able to do that for you with no problems. standard Mark III TT. So now it looks more like the TTS and the TTRS centre dial with the rev. You got you, you can change obviously anything on here. Um, you've also got Apple CarPlay which comes in, splits the screen back up. And then you can just go straight back onto your central display. There we go. And you've got your sat nav and you can change anything either side. So good job. Okay, so I just want to go over what Sol's actually done for me today. Standard Audi TT Mark III's don't have that centre dial. So we've got centre dial, but all I've got to do is plug in my phone. And as soon as I plug in my phone, we will have Apple CarPlay straight away in there. He's installed uh, Apple CarPlay for me. He's done the, um, the sports centre dial, as you can see here. He's also upgraded my maps for me, and he's also given me uh, speed camera alerts as well. So uh, little cameras show up on the map, plus obviously I get a beep as well to tell me they're coming up about 100 yards away. So um, get in touch with him, let him know that I've um, recommended to go and see him. He's based in Luton. He can only do it in person, he can't do it remotely, unfortunately. So if you can get yourselves to Luton, you'll be able to get the centre display, sports display now on your car. So get in touch with Sol and um, hopefully you'll get your car upgraded and it feel like a new dashboard. I'm very pleased, thanks very much Sol. Uh, so thanks guys for watching, uh, please like, please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you very soon with another video. Over and out.